know, no one really chooses to be an artist, you know? You just, it's just either in you or, you know what I'm talking about? Or crafty or whatever. That's not, that's not really who I am. You know, it's kind of more, I'm more like industrial, you know, graffiti, like let's mess stuff up type of, you know what I'm talking about? Metal renegade-ish, I guess, kind of artist. I'm not the typical artsy person, you know? I get inspired by going into like a museum. I think I get more inspired like going into like, you know, like a grocery store or like a bar or just walking down the street. It's a good way to document what's going on and what's current, you know, and that's, that's kind of what I strive for too with the work. I don't want to like, like regurgitate what Andy Warhol did. I try to do stuff that's popular, but not like a phase if that makes any sense. Like I don't want to do something that like just burns out. I grew up listening to hip hop music and smoking. <laughs> yeah. With Piggy Smalls, a lot of people connected with him and felt, you know, his, his lyrics were very sincere and they were coming from an honest place. And I think a lot of people really identified with him as an artist. That I think with my work is kind of similar as well. Like, like people to identify, I'm not trying to do something that's really not me, I guess, with my work. But yeah, I like, I like the pop music. <laughs> A lot of people need to understand like times are changing and you know people are going into museums and curating their own kind of things through social media photos they like and stuff like that whether you like it or not you know it's happening I, I really really dig it you know you think about how far you know images of the work go than the actual work itself 